I'm Michael Chief with MikesGuitarLessons.com, and uh, that right there was Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss. That was the intro, and uh, that's what I'm going to be teaching here. So go ahead and kick it off just to let you know. Um, most of the time I don't like to tune down um, or go to alternate tuni tunings except for drop D because some of my beginner guitar players might have problems with it. But this one I decided to go ahead and play it the way it's actually played. So you're going to want to tune your guitar down a half step. I do have lessons over that kind of thing um, on my website at mikesguitarlessons.com. But um, you can also play this in standard. You'll just sound a little bit um, higher than I do. But it's just a half step down. So um, other than that, um, I'm playing one of the guitar parts here. There are actually two guitar parts going on at the same time with this intro. And I'm playing one of them. And uh, I'll make other videos to uh, fill out the rest of the uh, guitar parts, and I'll put those on my website. But um, let's go ahead and get started learning this one so I can get this all in in one lesson. So for the most part, this is based around three power chords. Um, a D power chord, an A power chord, and an E power chord. But we do some variations off of them. Now what we're going to do here is start off with that intro part that you hear at the very beginning. It sounds like this. Okay. Now, what's happening there is I've got my first finger on the fifth fret of the A string. Okay. And I have my third finger on the seventh fret of the D string. And then once I pluck both of those as a chord, just those two notes, I hammer on the seventh or sorry, on the ninth fret of the D string with my pinky. Okay? So my middle finger's not doing anything. My first, third, and pinky are gonna press down notes. So I play these two notes and then hammer with my pinky on the ninth fret of the D string. Okay? So what you're going to do is do that two times in a row and then play one without hammering so it's just set a fifth fret and seventh fret. Okay, so okay, one more time just in case you missed it. Okay, then I go ahead and put my pinky down on the ninth fret. So what I've got here essentially is just the ninth fret on the D string and the, the uh, fifth fret on the A string. I play that chord once, and then I stop it, so I go, and then I play it again and pull off my pinky to where uh, this seventh fret on the D string comes out, okay? So that whole part right there is going to sound like this, okay? Now, after you do that, we're going to go to an A power chord. Now, this... Uh, normally, I like to play this with three notes. Um, you can do it with two, but I'm just going to show you with three notes here in this power chord. Um, you're really just adding an octave in there to fill out the sound a little bit. But your first finger is going to go to the fifth fret of the E string. Your third finger is going to play the seventh fret of the A string. And your pinky is going to play the seventh fret of the D string. Okay? You're just playing those three notes. Okay? And you just have to worry about the rhythm here. The rhythm's gonna sound like this. Let's see, sorry. Uh, there we go. Okay, now the way you're gonna get that silence in between the chords is by touching your hand to the uh, strings here, and you can also let pressure up on your left hand, and that'll stop the strings really quickly. Okay, so you're playing the uh, chord five times with this rhythm. Okay. Now, we're going to uh, go to an E power chord and kind of do this same little uh, thing we did before. And uh, the E power chord is going to be right here. You're going to put your first finger on the seventh fret of the A string and put your third finger on the ninth fret of the D string. Okay? So that's the power chord. Now, we are going to have a hammer like we did before with your pinky on the 11th fret of the D string. Okay? Now, the way you're going to do this is play this power chord twice and then play it a third time and then hammer 
on that 11th fret of the D string. And then pick it back up and just play the chord normal again. Okay, so. Okay, one more time. That's what it looks like. Okay. Now, so far, um, we've got all our power chords here. The only difference is sometimes when you go back to this D chord, you're going to play it the way you did this E, where you go. Okay? The only time you play that intro part is at the very beginning and when it repeats during the song. And you kind of saw that as I played along with it um, at the beginning. So if we put these into order, it, it would uh, go like this. And uh, Basically, you play this from the beginning until a new part comes up with uh, new chords in it. And I'll have to make a new video for that stuff. Because I can't fit it in uh, here under 10 minutes. So we're going to start off with our intro. Okay, then we go to our A chord, then to E, back to A, back to E, okay, back to A, to E, to A, back to E. Now we're going to go down to our D, and we're going to play that same kind of rhythm. Back up to the E, and then uh, finally our uh, intro comes back in. You go back down to the D and play that intro, and then you repeat. Now what happens is, um, and essentially that D chord is repeating uh, the same way. Uh, that, that last time I played that D chord intro, um, that was the beginning of a whole new time going through all that. So what I'd like to do is play along with the song again. And um, I'm actually going to slow down the speed so you guys can play with me. Okay? So remember, you got to tune down a half step. Let's go ahead and play along with this. And uh, you can see how uh, everything falls into place. So uh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, you get the idea. You just keep repeating that until uh, the next part of the song comes up. Again, you can find my other videos at www.mikesguitarlessons.com. I really appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and good luck with the song. Thanks for watching.